Welcome into another edition of Blazers Inside Access. Ben DeShong alongside Kelly Aholt, setter for the Blazers volleyball team. Kelly, I know, congratulations first. You were named uh, to the all-tournament team in the Huntington Invitational uh, last week. Uh, it was a 4-0 and weekend for the Blazers, the big weekend. Talk about the start of the year overall, 6-3, and uh, some very big wins, some key games, uh, just getting through the first half of the season. The season's starting out really well. We're really starting to come together as a team to mesh and click. I think the past two tournaments have been really great for us preparation-wise. We're able to see how we, everyone plays and how we work, and it's just going to be a really good year. Okay, looking ahead, uh, we're getting ready to jump right into conference play against uh, East Texas Baptist and Laterno this weekend. Just talk about getting ready to play in the ASC. It's a new era for us starting out, so just having these new opponents and officially starting that conference season. It's really exciting changing divisions and going D3. I think it'll be awesome to see new competition, see where we stand in the nation, and have a possibility to go to the national championships. You mentioned the national tournament. You talk about that. The NCCAA has released its poll. Uh, Bellhaven has some recognition in there, being in there. What's that mean, being in that poll after the first couple of weeks? It means a lot. It means that people see how good Bellhaven is, that we are ready to fight in this conference, and we're here and we mean business. Millsaps this past weekend playing in the tournament there is something that we hosted together. Talk about that fan support in that game. Obviously, we get to play them at home here in a week and what you're looking forward to in that. The fans were amazing this weekend. It really reminded me why I came to a small school. We are such a family here in that all your friends are out there supporting you, encouraging you in every step of the way, and the fans just made the game. <laughs> We want to thank Kelly Aholt for being on Blazers Inside Access. Again, volleyball will get ASC play underway this week, Friday. They will play East Texas Baptist in Marshall, and then they will travel over to Letourneau to finish out the weekend, and then early next week they will play Millsaps here in Rugg Arena. Men's golf will also be in action early next week as they travel to Alexandria, Louisiana to take part in the Louisiana College Invitational on Monday and Tuesday. The Bellhaven football team will be back on the road this week, but just a short trip across Hines County over to Clinton as they face the Choctaws of Mississippi College. That game set for a 7 p.m. start at Robinson Hale Stadium. Again, that one in Clinton on Saturday. The men's and women's soccer teams will also be in action, but they will start off ASC play much like volleyball with ASC play this week. Women's soccer and men's soccer both in doubleheaders on Thursday. And on Saturday, Thursday's games against Mary Harden Baylor will begin at 5 p.m. in the bowl with the men to follow at approximately 7.30. On Saturday, the women will take on Concordia University of Texas, that game beginning at 2 p.m. in the bowl. Again, the men to follow approximately two and a half hours afterward at approximately 4.30. As we just were speaking of the soccer schedule, now joined by Lucas Talavera Beffy, the a forward for the Blazers. You are congratulations, C Spire Athlete of the Week for Bellhaven. Uh, some of that coming off of three goals thus far this season, two assists, all taking part in all five goals. So congratulations on that. But more importantly for Bellhaven, three wins, uh, no losses, and in, in the first three games, you can't ask for much of a better start than that. Yeah, we had a great start of the season. Uh, I'm glad of the team performance and my performance as well. Trying to help the team as much as I can and looking forward for this weekend. Okay, you mentioned this weekend two uh, conference games, the first conference games of the year for ASC opponents. Um, what are you looking for out of the weekend? Uh, I think we're going to face some challenges this weekend. we uh, going to try to keep the good moments of the team. We've been working hard, we've had a good season good sessions. Today we're working again and uh, expecting the best for the weekend. Okay, for you uh, personally, you're coming off of a year away from of soccer. What's it been like having that year off and that and that desire to get back and play? And has, it, has that been part of maybe just your strong success early on? Uh, for me, to be out of the, the season it was terrible. I think the worst thing could happen. And just excited to be back and looking forward for this season.